So I don't know exactly his martyrdom, folks. You're going to have to look that up and see what you agree. But uh, he's, he's supposed to have healed a child while he was imprisoned, and it led to a big religious conversation around that, that they were converting Christians. So I guess from Catholicism to Christianity. Yeah. Interesting, well, isn't it? Constantine, Constantine omitted 45 books in the Bible. And that was right around the same time. Tommy, do you remember any of that? Or is that later with Constantine? Well, that basically, uh, all those books came out over the past hundred years. Most of those books came out. You mean after the uh, St. King St. James? Yeah, version? they were founded. I mean, they were found James, in caves I mean, and things like that. <laughs> yeah. All oh, the, you're, all the you're other talking about the older Jesus. ones. Uh, the Dead Sea well, the Scrolls later that on should have the been, Shepherd. The, the yeah. 45 that should have been in the Bible. Including, okay. Well, the history is important. We call it V-Day, too. That doesn't even make sense. But they call it Valentine's Day. And, folks, we celebrate it, and we're hoping that you can get a little understanding about it. So, uh, Nathan, you brought up, you know, he was uh, martyred. Okay, so it says... Valentine's Day is named after St. Valentine, a Catholic. He was a Catholic clergyman who lived in Rome during the 3rd century BC. So this day contains vestiges of both Christian and ancient Roman traditions. But the history of this day is a story of a patron saint shrouded in mystery. So I guess there's some mystery around it, but we do celebrate February 14th. Now, it's said back in the Roman day they had the Feast of Lupercalia from February 13th to the 15th, where men sacrificed a dog or a goat, and that they had slain animals during that time to ooh, and uh, were used to whip by men to whip women. So, uh, Tommy, you're bringing out a good point: the fact that young women well, lined was, up to be whipped was, by men. That's so he was beat to, beat to death, and then he cut his head off. Dang. And why were they so, beating uh, women? Why you know, were they beat women? Is that to show superiority Roman over women? Cruel. The, the Roman soldiers Goodness. were very cruel. Said they were trying to stamp out the remaining paganism, but uh, that the Rome had become Christian, and, and the Catholic Church was trying to get rid of pagan fertility rites. Proclaimed 14th day, St. Valentine's Day, establishing the feast of the Catholic calendar of saints. Wow. If we really study all the world history, but Valentine's Day would realize, to love. You would realize <laughs> how that nothing uh, relates to the word love? Uh-huh. That's what I'm looking at. It says it's celebrated in most countries. But they've developed their own traditions around the days. So around the world, uh, they celebrate it for different reasons. Now, I didn't know that. But here uh, we have have family members and friends. I always thought it was about Valentine's Day cards and candy because I grew up in Louisiana, and we we sent each other Valentine's in school. But I didn't know the deep meaning of uh, why we celebrate it. (laughs) Hold on. Hold on, I gotta take this call. Uh, okay, we right can back. come back. Do, I'll talk to Nathan. Do you see? Do you see love coming into my life, sir? Nathaniel, you are a very curious person. I've always loved you, and you've always been here with us in every incarnation. But you always bring your uniqueness, your very unique soul. So uh, you've got all the love in the world, but. There's something unique about you, and you don't put yourself in situation to meet a lot of women. Remember the last time we talked, because you may have even been on one of my last shows. I've I've talked to you two or three times, but your love is more uh, congregational unity, universalist type. You love the world in such a big way. Are you really looking for another woman to settle down with? You've got you've still got that home. You still live by yeah. yourself, right? Well. Uh, no, no. Have you I'm really living with somebody right now? I that was a long time ago. A roommate. You have a roommate. Well. Yeah. There's a roommate I have that called Angie. Do you see me getting together with her? I really don't. Uh, 
I keep okay. seeing this woman uh, with you, but uh, it's like you can't get in the same room. So you haven't put yourself out there. But with COVID-19, we were fighting that last year with your, you know, romanticism. Uh, do you want somebody? Are you put, are you reaching out yourself? Because, you know, talking about Valentine's Day is a good day to talk about love. So having compassion for others, you have to be involved with other people. So how do you see yourself in that change? Today is Valentine's Day and putting yourself out there like, you know, we should be doing if we want to meet people. Are you are you strictly using cyberspace for your reality check with women? Because you and I talk, this is, you know, this is the first time this year because I haven't been doing much because, like you said, COVID-19. But we haven't even really got to know each other over over cyberspace. I mean, I can see you, but it's like an avatar sees you on spiritual. You're in our spiritual community. Do you want a romantic relationship with a woman? Yeah. Have you talked to Angie about that? Oh, we talked about a lot of things. I've actually just met her, and we I, we just moved in. So. Well, let's see what really, grows. Yeah. She, she's a uh, interesting. Well. Did you look at your signs? Are you compatible? Yes, yeah, so much, yeah. Did you look at your intelligence factors? You're 16. I don't know if you look at all that, but oh, you're yeah. a very interesting person. And uh, well, Someone said I had a lot of gold uh, in my aura, and that means I have a lot of wisdom and stuff, but... Uh, I sure know a lot about a lot of different things, you know, and like you're talking about the Anunnaki and all kinds of stuff. And You've learned you know, about all I, that. Well, right? I'm bored, I'm bored they have ironic insight and stuff, but, you know, we should really enjoy the now as much as we can, you know. I don't know if you're Being into in love the Bible. Now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm into the Bible. Should, I'm into all world religions, but mostly the Bible because I was raised Christian in America. Yeah. Yeah. So well, time prophecy seems to be, you know, lining up with all the you know, the riots and all the you know, <laughs> you know Well that's what they've been saying since I've been on the planet. But you know, we die and we come back, we die and we come back and that's the story of ascension that I think Jesus was teaching. But to love God, you know, Father Source and use the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit came down on Jesus. So I believe in the stories uh, you can believe or choose not to believe. That's your choice. But even with me dying and coming well, back in human form, I still believe that Jesus, it, well, I, I use the, the Holy Trinity or the way, the truth, and the light of Jesus because he showed us how to ascend. And in this fifth dimensional realm, we're all supposed to be learning how the ascension age works. So... I don't know. Do you feel like you're just, you know how, what immortal beings are. That's what we are. We never die as souls. We're immortal souls. So the extraterrestrial doesn't mean hate. Extraterrestrial means you're of an ascended soul. To me, you can ascend and descend just like Jesus did. And I believe that's what he taught us to do. What do you believe? You believe in ascension? Yes. Good. I do too. Now that could be part of our law of attraction in our relationship. Uh, how different people have different feelings and why certain people are attracted to each other. INTJ or ENFP or any of the, with your numbers, you'd be very good at that with intelligence, uh, words, personalities. Oh, yeah. Do you know what Angie is? How would you describe her? Loving, giving? Uh, she really has a pure heart and seems to be very loving. Well, that's good. Are you with her today? Uh, not, you know, we're, we're, uh, 
I've just met her, so I thought that she was really nice, but uh, I think she's, uh, you know, I've just, we had a good conversation about a lot of things. And, uh, well, do you feel like you can uh, give more or receive more? Because it's always said it's more blessed to give than receive. So we have to be giving, and we have to be creators, right? And just loving and showing compassion and caring. So we say caring is love and love is caring. <laughs> Do you, uh, did you give her a gift today? Or are you a gift giver? You don't have to, but did you know, you think I, I of have, something? But, uh, I might. I might do that as well. I think that would be nice uh, because you're a man and you're seeking romance. And you're just getting to know her, and you're just roommates. But you, I, if you haven't had a romantic uh, coupling, I would say start with something easy, like a nice, you know, Dollar Tree gift card or something. But just saying, as friends, uh, you're interesting in exploring a more compassionate relation. I don't know, compassion may be too strong. So you, if you've just met her, y'all haven't got into the chirping love. Uh, le- letting her know how you feel yet, right? Yeah, you know, I gotta see how it develops. You know, she may not yeah. be, uh, she may not be interested, but uh, you know, I don't know. Yes, yeah, so she may not be sensitive to that story relationship. Yeah, it's hard. That's why we study personalities and love stories. Is we want to know more about individuals before we give of our hearts, right? So we apply friendships, but it's funny. Once that law of attraction or that fascinating part of us goes into lack of crush and more friendship, we tend to put people over in that friendship zone. And I wonder what that is. Our chemical smells and our our uh, affairs, you know, they're not star-crossed, so to speak. You know, that's why we like to study personalities and perspectives on how we see when we came in with the stars. You know, a lot of people say, they're, I don't have an astrologer. You're probably the closest thing to it. And you're, tell people how, what you study. Nathaniel. Well, you were born on uh, December 27th, right? No, day after Christmas, 26th, close. Tommy was born uh, December 10th. I was born the 26th at noon. 12 noon on the day after Christmas, 1226. Okay. Now, uh, I'm a Capricorn according to standard 12 zodiac signs, right? With no, a, actually, the Aquarius first day rising. Of Capricorn because Christmas is born as actually the, uh, the uh, Sagittarius Capricorn cusp goes from the 19th to the 25th. And it starts out the nineteenth is the day of the Hellraiser, and then uh, the twentieth is uh, the day of the Generator, and then it goes on to Christmas is the day of the supernatural. Well, Christmas is uh, I was born the next day in right. Central so Time in Monroe, day. Louisiana. So you're born the first day of Capricorn one. So you're you're full Capricorn. Right. December twenty sixth. This changes on the day, but it takes a whole week to change. Three hundred sixtieth day of the planet. Three hundred. There's three hundred sixty five, but I was born on the third three hundred sixtieth day, which is three and six in numerology is a nine, which I'm pretty much told I'm a nine, and I've had like this will be my ninth complete. Reality well, you're, check. You're, you're eight because the two, the two and the six uh, equals uh, eight there, and then so you have the strength card for your. Uh, yeah, for and your on the day. Gregorian calendar, I'm on the thirty two hundred sixtieth day of the year, so I'm a nine as well. So okay. uh, history uh, just depends on the day and how you you know do it in numerology, but you can also do twelve twenty six nineteen fifty one. You know, you you add them down 12, then 26, then 19, then 51, and it still comes out to a 9. Now, how are you doing it? What are you reading, or what do you work with? Uh, if there's all different kinds of ways to do it, you know, so. Well, let's talk about you. What day were you born? I was born uh, the day of ironic insight. 
Well, what day is that? That's May 1st, 1957. 